didn't expect that. Prime RVX 34, 34 inches ATA, 6.25 inch brace height, 40 to 80 pounds of draw weight adjustment, and 26 to 30 and a half inches draw length. This is the Prime RBX. I guess this, the, I've shot this a few times now. This is the Prime Rev X 34, and it's just dawning on me. I think the biggest thing I've noticed about this is it's quiet. Like, okay, no vibration. All right, no hand shock. You know, these are all things that are to be expected, but it is so stinking quiet. Yeah. All right, day two with the Prime RVX 34. Shot it yesterday for the first time. Um, <clears throat> one thing I've noticed, uh, it is super smooth. I've noticed that with Primes before. Uh, almost any 2024 bow, sorry, I've only shot one 2024 bow, that's this one. Uh, but all the 2023s I've shot are really smooth, almost dead in the hand. There's some here and there that have some hand shock, but a lot of companies have taken care of the vibration that's in the bow. I'm shooting this without any stabilizers, and yeah, it's been super smooth so far. But one thing I've really noticed about this compared to others is it is, is it is super quiet. Just figured I'd take a few more shots with her today and see if I can't start getting her zeroed in at uh, 20 yards. See where I hit it there. Yeah, I'm just gonna check that out. Think. So that's all right. I think I kind of flung it low a little already anyway. Just a bad shot on my part. So we'll see how she plays. It's kind of windy out here today, so that's not helping. But I think whew, I gotta settle down. All right, I thought I was shooting bad, but I actually had two arrows touching each other. That felt better. Well, yeah, I'm still shooting low. Grouping at 20 is pretty decent. It's actually not as good as I would hope. Oh, is I just feel comfortable. Everything about them from the draw cycle to the back wall, the valley's nice. I like the grip. Maybe I wish there was a, another quarter inch, half inch in draw length, but it's pretty close. Oh, I knew that was low as soon. That's me again. Man, <laughs> my pen is dancing. So we were shooting 20 yards and uh, yeah, I don't have it perfect yet. I, I'd like to be all in that green dot there. But like I said, the wind is nasty. And we're gonna figure out how fast she shoots through the chronograph. Um, the last few bows I've had go through the chronograph, I had a same, with the same grain arrow, 568 grains, pretty heavy arrows. Um, the twin turbo by Hoyt was 274 feet a second. The Elite Carbon Era was about 264 feet a second, just 10 feet a second less. And right here we have the Prime RVX 34, which is rated at 342 feet a second. Um, so I'm expecting comparable. I bet you we're going to be about 260 something feet a second. Let's see how she does. Oh, much better. Wow. All right. So rated at 242 feet a second. Sorry, 342 feet a second. The Hoyt twin turbo was rated at 250 feet a second. Same grain arrow, and I just got 276 feet a second. So this is actually shooting faster than the twin turbo with the same grain arrow. 276.5 feet a second again. Wow. All right, so far, Prime RVX. You're dead in the hand. You're quiet. You're fast. Let's check consistency. Some consistency from about 20 yards. Let's see how she goes. Prime RBX. I've flung a few shots before. Uh, I was shooting outside. I just couldn't resist and on some cold days and 
It was windy. I still, it is like 20 degrees this morning in Michigan. So shooting in the barn is kind of nice, but I wanted to shoot in the barn because there's no wind in here. So uh, this is our first time really checking the consistency on this thing. Make sure I'm not hitting a rafter. I think it'll be good. Let's check it out. Smooth draw cycle, nice back wall. I love this thing so far. Although, I need a new sight. I have right now the CBE Engage Hybrid uh, three pin. It's got 0 .10 pins on it. Holy cow, my eyeballs are getting bad. It's hard to shoot with glasses. Because I'm always looking through the side of my frames. Yeah, I might have hit some arrows there on that one. Yikes. Um, so anyway, I'm always looking through the side of my frames. But I need my glasses because my eyeballs are getting messed. so I don't know. I think I might have to get a peep with a clarifier and a lens on my sight or something like that. But bigger pins is the easier start. <clears throat> Just something with .19 pins. So far, this thing is awesome. Let's go check out how she did. I'd say overall Bodad rating for this Prime RBX 34, it's a 9.9 .9 out of 10. This thing is amazing. Um, I find it very comfortable. Of course, to me, it's comfortable. To another shooter, it might not be so comfortable. Um, I love drawing it back. I love shooting it. It's such a quiet bow. Uh, the consistency is pretty good, but I'm going to have to fine tune that because I think I stink. Otherwise, I'd have given it a 10 out of 10. If I walked down here and those arrows were touching a little closer, it would have been a 10 out of 10. But uh, Prime RBX 34, you're awesome. This is Bodad. I'm out.